This is Plant-Based Briefing, Plant Pure Community's culinary philosophy and minimal cooking ideas from Plant Pure Communities at plantpurecommunities.org. And I'm your host, Marian Erickson, and this is the 10-minute curated content plant-based podcast where I narrate articles with author permission on a variety of topics related to plant-based and vegan living. You may have come across many variations of a whole food plant-based diet. All of them exclude animals and animal products, of course, and highly processed foods, but some will exclude oil, some will exclude salt and sugar, and some exclude high-fat, natural whole foods. So in today's post, Plant Pure Communities describes their culinary philosophy. They're a nonprofit organization that was formed following the 2015 release of the documentary Plant Pure Nation. The documentary demonstrates how political and economic interests suppressed the message of plant-based nutrition for decades, and it concludes with a call to action for people to form local plant-based support groups called PODs. Plant Pure Communities was formed to support these PODs, offering a wealth of resources to help people build stronger, healthier, and more sustainable communities. Now let's get to today's plant-based briefing. Plant Pure Communities Culinary Philosophy from PlantPureCommunities.org Plant Pure Communities advocates a whole food, plant-based diet without animal products, which consists of vegetables, including leafy greens, fruits, whole grains, legumes and beans, and nuts and seeds. As explained in the film Plant Pure Nation, Plant Pure was selected as a term for describing a whole food, plant-based diet because it is suggestive of nature. Nature is pure. Perhaps the only experience we will have in this earthly life that is indeed perfect. Importantly, we do not mean that people should be purists in their eating habits. There is a school of thought in the plant based community that salt and sugar, as well as nuts, avocados, and other foods high in natural fat, should never be consumed. We don't subscribe to this. First, nuts, seeds, avocados, and other whole plant foods high in natural fat are essential to a healthy diet when consumed in modest amounts. The argument against natural fat in whole plant foods is the same reductionist thinking used by the dairy industry to advocate for milk consumption. Milk contains calcium, and calcium is a building material for bones, so the dairy industry has argued for years that we should consume milk. Yet science shows that increased consumption of high-protein foods like milk and other animal-derived foods coupled with consumption of less plant-derived foods, are associated with lower long-term bone health. Biology is complex, infinitely so. What matters most is not the presence of calcium in milk, but the holistic effects of milk on the body. Likewise, what matters most with whole plant foods high in fat is the way they're utilized by the body and the effects they produce, and research is increasingly showing these plant foods to be beneficial. Salt and sugar are in a different category. Adding extra salt and sugar out of their natural context is not essential to our diet. We believe it is important, however, that people should be free to eat food with flavors they enjoy. We will not change the world around the idea of plant-based nutrition if we tell people they must give up the food they love for food that tastes bland. The Plant Pure Community's culinary philosophy allows for modest levels of added salt and sugar, based on the assumption that as people experience the benefits of this diet, they will do their best to reduce these ingredients as much as possible over time. Taste preferences change, so once we become accustomed to a low-salt and low-sugar diet, we discover that these flavors pop at low amounts. The Plant Pure Community's culinary philosophy also allows people the opportunity to have now and then a fun dessert and even a glass of beer or wine. The only ingredient we advocate avoiding as much as possible is added oil. This ingredient is not necessary to the creation of great tasting meals. It is possible to create flavor without oil. An argument can be made that very small amounts of oil, like a very small splash of sesame oil in a kale dish, is likely to do little or no harm. But the problem is that many people have difficulty drawing the line with oil. A little can turn into too much, so we suggest just staying away from it. Our science advisor, Dr. T. Colin Campbell, has long maintained that you get most of the potential health benefit from dietary change simply by moving to a whole food, plant-based diet. Becoming a purist is not likely to create much additional gain, and whatever gain might appear pales in comparison to the gain from going plant-based. In his view, we can gain more than 95% of the potential health benefit by moving to a diet as described above. 
We can quibble about whether we can add some other incremental benefit by becoming purists, but why do this when the cost is a diet deficient in flavor? Our goal is not to motivate a small number of purists, but to launch a revolution that transforms society. There are two impulses present in many of us. One is the impulse to be right and to judge those who are wrong. The other is the humble, non-judgmental impulse to love. We favor the second, knowing that love is the more powerful, more transformational choice. And we love our neighbors and the larger world when we give them a plant-based option that is joyful. Minimal Cooking Ideas Here are suggestions for several tasty 5-10 to minute whole food plant-based meals to prepare on days when you're too busy to cook. Loaded Baked Potato Baked potato topped with steamed frozen veggies like cauliflower and broccoli, and then topped with nutritional yeast, garlic powder, salt, or pepper. Tostadas. Bake corn tortillas in the oven at 350 for 3 to 5 minutes until crisp. While they're cooking, open a can of fat-free refried beans, look for the ones that are already seasoned with green chilies, put in a bowl with a dash of taco seasoning and heat in the microwave. Chop up some onions, peppers, tomatoes, and lettuce. Then top your tortillas with beans, and then load up all the veggies on top and enjoy. Non-pizzas. Buy non bread or pizza crust that is made without added oil and fat-free marinara or pizza sauce. Chop up toppings you like on pizza, like onions, peppers, mushrooms, spinach, olives, jalapenos, or zucchini. Place the non on a baking sheet, add a layer of sauce, and then as many veggies on top as possible. Top with nutritional yeast and bake for 10 to 15 minutes at 350 until done. Spaghetti Night Purchase a fat-free marinara sauce, 100% whole wheat pasta, and a bag of your favorite frozen veggies. Boil the pasta according to the directions, warm up the sauce, and then steam the veggies. Fill your plate with the pasta, sauce, and veggies, and top with nutritional yeast, and you have a feast. Wrap Night Buy whole wheat tortillas and either make or buy a batch of no-oil-added hummus. Top tortillas with hummus, spinach, tomatoes, peppers, olives, avocados, and onions. Yum! Rice and Bean Bowls Cook a batch of brown rice and a batch of black beans early in the week when you have time. To make the beans, simply drain and rinse one to two cans of black beans and then put half a cup of water, chili powder to taste, and salt. Lightly boil for five minutes and then store until needed. When you're ready for a fast meal, layer the rice and beans in a bowl and warm up. Top with tomato, avocado, peppers, lettuce, green onions, or anything else that sounds good. The more veggies, the better. And burger night. Buy whole wheat buns and black bean burgers. Brown the burgers in a skillet. While they are cooking, open a bag of pre-washed salad mix and add a few tomatoes, keeping a few slices for your burgers, onions, keeping some for your burgers, and cucumbers. Load up your burger with lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickle, and add a large salad, and you will be satisfied with very little effort. You just listened to Plant Pure Communities Culinary Philosophy and Minimal Cooking Ideas from Plant Pure Communities at plantpurecommunities.org. And I'm your host, Marian Erickson, and this is Plant-Based Briefing. Thanks for listening.